Ray Bankowski is sitting in Fitworks Hybrid Training Gym in DeKalb, Illinois with an original Rubik's Cube. You'll notice that all sides are absolutely perfect. And Bree, if you can actually get in closer, you can probably see that some of the corners have been peeled. Check it out. So this is my Rubik's Cube from when I was a kid. I think I got it somewhere around like 79 to maybe 82 or thereabout. Small neighborhood Walgreens store around Christmas time. I remember that because the store was decked out for Christmas. Um, so what does a Rubik's Cube have to do with health, wellness, and weight loss? And why would I be pointing out that all of the sides are the same? Pretty simple reason. One, if you've ever had a Rubik's Cube, you know it's an incredibly tough puzzle. It was for me when I was a kid. It was one that I wanted to defeat. Yeah, I wanted to win. I wanted to make all the colors match again. You know, I turned it, mixed all the colors up. No, I'm not going to do that again because, again, it's perfect right now. Uh, because I couldn't solve the puzzle at that time or that age, and I don't even know if I can actually solve it today or if I would have the patience to sit and try and do it, I was resourceful. So like any resourceful five or seven or eight-year-old kid that wants to beat the puzzle... I took the time to sit down and peel every one of these little stickers off and then put them all back on as close to centered as I could so that every side of the cube was correct, looking like I solved the puzzle. What does that have to do with health, wellness, and weight loss? Simple. So many people, so many people, and this happens with almost all things when we become adults, we quit. We give in, we lose our resourcefulness, we start accepting things for the way they are, we start accepting a false reality that, oh, I can't be that, or I could never lose those pounds and inches. It's utter and complete BS. Yes, you can. Um, sometimes you just have to be persistent. Sometimes you just have to be resourceful. Sometimes you just have to not accept failure, not accept no is the inevitable outcome. Just like the little kid that solved the Rubik's puzzle, me, in this case, me. Um, I wanted to get the puzzle done. I wanted to get it right. I wanted to make all the colors the same. And at that point in time, I don't know if I lacked the skill set. I may not have the skills to solve the puzzle today. Um, but I know that I grew tired of twisting and turning and trying to get it right. So I, I was resourceful and I solved the puzzle. So if you're looking at health, wellness, and weight loss, and you're not where you are, maybe you need to step back and say, am I doing more of the same? Am I willing to accept the fact that I actually can change? Am I afraid of success? Am I thinking outside of the box? Am I being resourceful? Am I raising my hand and asking questions? By the way, if you're tuned into this live, you have a question, post it, and we'll answer it right here. If you're watching this later, you're picking it up on YouTube, or Facebook, or any of our other social media outlets. If there's something you want to know about, this is the being resourceful. Part of being resourceful is asking, how can I solve this problem? Ask. We're more than happy to do what we can to help you reach your goals. Um, how do I know this? Because we do it day in and day out. I see clients come and go every day from my club. Um, we do a lot of consulting, eat by color programming online. Uh, I've got clients in other markets that we only converse via the internet. I have a young lady that lives in the Chicago suburbs. She's getting a post bachelor's level medical education. She can be like a um, physician's assistant or a nurse practitioner. She lost seven pounds of fat from September to December within one of her most stressful two quarters or semester of rotations in education. Seven pounds. She doesn't even live here. Do we have a question? Yeah. What's Read your it. take on timelines for bulking and cutting? What's my, who's asking it? Ryan Moulter. Ryan, what is my, my timeline for bulking and cutting? One, if you are, I'm guessing you want to gain muscle. If you're a drug-free athlete, you cannot get fat. Okay, never forget that. If you're drug-free, you want to gain muscle without gaining fat. Can it be done? Absolutely. In fact, when we prep people whether it's physique competitors, bodybuilding, bikini figure, um, or even pageant competitors, which we've done, whether it's a state or miss, whatever I see, there's a debacle with one of the big Miss Universe pageants. Um, 
you can't afford to get fat. You need to gain lean mass. How long should it take? I had a competitive male bodybuilder gain nine pounds on his stage weight in six months. I had another one gain 16 pounds in 11 months. It's kind of an individual thing. It also has to do with how long you've been training. And in addition to how long you've been training, what have you done in the past? You know, if you've been training and, and doing everything like we addressed in a video last week, wrong for a decade or more, when you start getting food right, eat by color, you start getting your training right, you marry those two things, you're going to crush it for the first X amount of time. What's X? Three to six months. Then your gains are going to slow down. Um, if you've been doing things right for a long time, it's probably going to take you a lot longer. But again, the biggest thing, and I can't stress this enough, is if you get too fat, most of your gains, additional gains, are going to be more fat. When you go to cut, lean out, drop the unwanted adipose tissue or fat, you're going to end up losing a lot of that recently gained muscle while you're losing the fat. And at the end of the day, you're only going to end up a pound or two heavier lean mass wise than when you started. So done the right way, it needs to be gradual and you need to minimize the amount of fat that you gain. Good question. Other questions, by all means, folks, ask. So back to the Rubik's Cube. Again, be resourceful. Um, we have people that we work with online. Some cases we never even meet. I mentioned the young medical professional, seven pounds of fat in three months. Her words, not mine, most stressful two quarters, most stressful, erratic hospital clinical rotation she's ever had. Some weeks she was on midnight, some weeks second shift. This hospital over here, this hospital, totally different city, north side of the city or whatever, yet she's still lost seven pounds. How long do you need to be in the gym? Two to three hours a week. That's it. Two to three hours a week. Um, again, you got to be resourceful. It's no different than solving the puzzle. Go back to being that little kid. Don't accept no. Don't accept where you are today. Seek out advice. Ask for help. Find somebody that's done it. Model the behavior. Be willing to be resourceful and get on track to reach your goals. Any other questions? George Sebastian asked if you can help him, but didn't say which one. George Sebastian, yes, absolutely, we can help you. Um, help you what? I understand you asked the question, but I need to know what you want help with. We can try and do some of that here. Otherwise, you can find me and message me on Instagram, hashtag eatbycolor. On Twitter, at eatbycolor, facebook.com slash eatbycolor. You can find me on Facebook and instant message me, whatever you want. But what do you want help with, George? It looks like George may have disappeared. And anyway, any rate, thanks for tuning in. Um, remember, life is as simple as solving the Rubik's Cube. Just got to be resourceful. Don't accept no. Keep trying until you get it. Uh, Ray Binkowski, author of the book, Eat by Color and Get Fit and Live Healthy, sitting in Hybrid Training Gym, Fitworks in DeKalb, Illinois. Again, you can find me, hashtag Eat by Color at Eat by Color.